everyone, welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I'm Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And this week's project is a request. And I had someone ask me to place the lighthouse on the cliff. And this comes from Easy Project B. And in this project, you can see there are several elements. There's the lighthouses included, the cliff, which is really, really versatile. You can use it for any of the little structures, uh, a pier, a fence, and this cloud line. So I'm going to take this lighthouse, place it on the cliff, and use this little accent, the little, the little fence. We're going to create this beautiful um, watercolor image of the lighthouse on the cliff. You can easily turn this into a tropical, Im tropical image as well just by using some um, palm trees maybe in the background, changing the color of the water. You can see that I have a really cool watercolor down here, but you can change that to tropical and you can you, this, this uh, set of stamps is really, really versatile that way. So um, we're gonna get started on that. In addition now to Easy Project B, we're gonna need a few more things. So we're gonna go back to our flower and foliage set. We're gonna use our filler flower, the little daisy bunch. And then in the foliage set, we're gonna use several things. We're gonna use this small leaf that is for the background, the grasses, and the vine, this one right here. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is ink the basic image. So that is the lighthouse. And so we're gonna ink that whole thing in the number 86. It's mostly white, so we're gonna start out with all of this inked in the 86. So I'm just gonna put that on there. This, this marker has a lot of color to it, so if you're, if you're a little um, unsure about how much ink is on there, go ahead and stamp it off because we don't want it too dark. This is a really detailed image, and so we don't wanna to get too much ink on there. So let's just stamp it off so that we don't get too much on here. Okay, so we've got that stamped on here now. So let's go ahead and add the cliff. So I've got this now on a block and I'm going to stamp it in two colors. So I'm going to take this screen. This is the number 72. And I'm gonna ink the little grass line. And then the, the number 45, the sepia, I'm gonna ink the rest of the cliff. Anything that's in nature, rocks and trees and dirt, all of that is inked in sepia. And I'm just gonna place it uh, next to the, next to the White House. Stamp it in there just like that. Okay, so let's add the water now. Let's start with the lighthouse here. And we'll start by just pulling the color out of the lines. I always start with the areas that would be the darkest. So see under the eaves, under this little structure, this would be really dark under here. Anything under the eaves here, anything under this area, under the lighthouse. See how these horizontal lines go across? We don't ever want to encroach on those lines. We wanna stay in between the lines. If the horizontal lines are there, it's to show um, texture, and um, it's to break up the, the flat image. So we wanna be sure to leave those lines there. Okay, do the little windows. This would all be really dark in here. We can come in here like that. Okay, so let's pull a little color now to the outside. So we're gonna drag some of this color out. We wanna get a little background going here. Again, this is all about adding dimension, making things look three-dimensional, and making this look like a painting, not a stamp. Okay, so we're gonna add some color now. We wanna add some color to the roof of this little structure, both here and here, and to the roof of the lighthouse. So I'm gonna take some of the sepia, and I'm just gonna add it to my palette, dip my brush in water, and take some of this color. And I'm just gonna to brush it on. Do you see these lines in the roof? I want I want to leave those lines in there. So I don't want to come down this way on the roof. Again, this is all about adding texture. And this is part of the shape of the roof. Just like the lighthouse and these horizontal lines across here are part of the shape of the lighthouse. So this is also. 
So let's get that color in there. And then let's add some color now to the roof of the White House. Okay, and now the next thing to do is use your fine tip and really darken in these windows. These are set way back in the background, so they're gonna be really, really dark. And anytime we can make things really dark, we wanna do that because that, that also adds dimension. Anything that's dark, dark to light, light is gonna give us three dimension. Don't be afraid to put some lines back in if maybe some of this detail got lost. I always go underneath the, the overhang again just because this under here would be really, really dark. And we really want to show that three dimension. Okay, let's drag some of this color now down to this side of this little structure because this would be in the shade, this area on this side. This under here would be really dark. This here as well. Okay, that's looking pretty good. We're good on that. So let's move on to the cliff now. And we're gonna drag some of this green out. Remember we stamped this in the green? So this little grassy line we stamped in the green first. So we'll pull the color out of there. Dip our brush again. And just kind of follow these lines. What you wanna avoid is things colored in solid. So we wanna show some highlight on this bank. And so we just, we don't wanna color all of this in solid. Just kind of follow the lines, drag your brush down, and just leave some white areas. And when you get to the rocks, see how the rocks have a dark area here for the color? And there's, no, there's nothing up here on the top. That's because we want the light to be on the top. We don't want to color these rocks in solid either. We want to make sure that we're showing that light coming down. Okay, so let's move on from here. We're going to add some grasses and some foliage back in the background now. So let's start with the flowers. So we're going to add the little, the little flowers, the blue flowers that are in the background. We're going to add those with the, uh, the number 86. And I'm just going to ink a few of these because these are pretty small blooms here in the background. And I'm just going to stamp this in a circle. A circle. So remember we're counting one, two, three, four, five. And if you can get more on there, that's even better. And I feel like this would be really overgrown behind here so we can add a lot of color. And next we're gonna just dip our brush, add some water to it, and just soften these lines. Remember to leave some white areas. You don't want this all to be colored in solid. So just kind of jump your brush around. Just like this. Looks pretty good. Okay, so let's move on to the next part. So now we're gonna use the foliage, and this is the small foliage. So this is the small leaf foliage from the foliage set. So this one right here, and we're just gonna ink part of it. So we don't need the whole stamp. And you can ink whichever part is most comfortable for you, either the left side or the right side. We're just going to ink about half of this and we're going to, we're going to stamp it at least five times. One, two, three, four, five. And let's ink it again. Oops, that was the wrong color. We'll just clean that off and we'll ink it with the correct color. So this is the 72 green and I'm going to do that again. One, two, three, four, five. And if I can get it in there a few more times, that's even better. Okay, so now we're gonna add some water to that. Just jump your brush around. This always looks so messy when I stamp this, but it's amazing how it all comes together. Don't ever give up because you've stamped it and you thought, I ruined it now because this just, this looks so bad. But it just, it always kind of looks that way. But it's amazing how it comes together. And this little stamp just creates such a great background. Of foliage. Just remember to leave some white areas. Kind of jump your brush around. Remember that you're you're um, you're adding water to the lines. So even though the lines are really close together and a little more dense, you're still adding adding water to the lines. Okay. See how that all kind of comes together. 
That's looking better. So let's now add our little grasses. So the grass, if you've been watching any of these videos, you've probably used the grass a hundred times. That's this little one right here. It's just, it's so versatile. I think it's in probably 90% of the projects, maybe more. So we're gonna ink this little guy and we're just gonna, we're gonna stamp it over the top. So we're gonna drag this grass over the top and see how there's cracks into this cliff. All of these are lines that go back in here. So we can, we can take this grass and just kind of follow those lines. Stamping along these little structures here, underneath the flowers, and back in the background. And dip our brush. And remember when you're doing the grass, you're pulling the color up and out. Drag the color up and out. It's gonna look so much more natural that way. Okay, so let's just, let's add a little green now to this. So we're just gonna take a little of this green and just add a little bit to this, this line. You don't be afraid to blend these colors together. I do this all the time. I blend the green into the blue. I just think it adds a lot more dimension because it, it sort of mixes the color and gives you another, um, just another color in your image. Put a little more of this dark on there as well. Okay, we're starting to shape up here. So let's, um, let's go on to the next part and that's the water. So we're gonna add the water and we're just gonna do it from the palette. And we're gonna just start light. I think that's the best I can give you, best advice. And keep your hands straight. Anytime you change the angle and you're going like this or you're brushing color in like this, you're gonna lose that image of the water. So we're wanna, we wanna start with straight strokes. Keep your hands straight and just brush the water in like this. Don't touch, don't touch the rocks and this other color because you will bleed out that color if you do that. So just kind of bring it over. Keep your hands straight. And just brush this water over. Don't stress out about this. This is so fun to do and it just turns out so well. A little bit more in the back. Make sure you keep it straight. Make sure that line is straight. And that's about all there is to that. Okay, so let's go on to the next part. We're gonna do something in this foreground. So let's use our foliage stamp. This one right here. This is the vine. This is the little vine from the foliage set. So we're gonna use this one. We're gonna ink it in the green. And we're gonna do something in the foreground. We're not gonna worry about the middle. The middle is um, a little difficult to do. Uh, that doesn't mean you can't do it, but it's much easier to do small things in the back and large things in the front. And then we skip this whole area where we have to graduate the images from small to large. So if we do that, do things that way, we just put large things in the front, we, we, have to, we can skip all of that in the middle. And that's where the stress is. So this is stress-free when you do it this way. So again, we're gonna count. We're just gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And we're just gonna get some little hedges in here. Add our water. And you can see how the dark comes forward. That's by stamping it in the repeat. It's so important to do that. Make sure when you're stamping these things that you <clears throat> ink them one time and stamp them multiple times. Okay, so we've got our water in there. We're gonna add our flowers now. And I'm going to use a little different blue. This is the 29 Prussian blue. And I'm gonna use the same little daisies. I'm gonna just use a few again. And I'm gonna go in a circle. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Around in a circle. We're just putting this foliage in, or excuse me, the flowers in. 
Now we're getting all this color in here. So cute. And you can see how doing this eliminates that middle ground. So let's just add some water here now. See how that color just kind of comes out? That deep blue color just comes out. So you can just dab at this color. And just go ahead and stamp over that water. That's okay, because this is all in the foreground. Blend this blue up and around. Okay, and now we can come in under here and add some grass to this. Sort of cement it down, looks like it's floating a little bit. You can also take some green and just brush in some green. Okay, so let's do that, let's add our grasses. I think I'll use the bigger grass here in the foreground. So I'm inking that with the green. Remember to walk your grasses. One, two, three, four, five. Super easy. And just pull that color up and out. Just drag that color out. So easy. Try to, when you're doing the, the water also, try to leave some white, white lines in here. Don't just color that in solid. Let's add a little more color in here. This is all starting to come together. You can add some, uh, some sky. Water your blue down so it's really light and just kind of brush some sky in here. Don't overthink this. And just do a little bit. A little bit kind of goes a long ways. So we just need a little color in here. Okay, one more thing. Let's put the fence in here. So we're gonna use the, the positioner just to make sure that we get it in the right place. So this is just a little L-shaped positioner. I'm going to put this on the block. This on the block, a little fence, and then I'll ink the fence, and I'm going to stamp it on the plastic, on this little plastic uh, square, right inside the L square. So I'm going to stamp it in here like this. And now I can take that fence and just kind of place it wherever I want it to be. That looks pretty good there. Place this L square back and remove that plastic plastic square. And now I'm going to ink this again. Make sure you get enough ink on this because you are stamping over that green. So we want to make sure that we get enough color. Place it back in the square like this and then stamp it. Now we have the little Fence in there, we've got our water in. Uh, we've got our flowers in the foreground. Looks pretty good. You can add some sparkle to this with your Wink of Stella. You can also close this in. See how this looks like this is going out? This looks more like an ocean. But if you take some of your green and just put a little bank in here, you can bring this in. And now it looks more like a cove. You can bring it in even closer by adding your grass to this. That would, that would bring that in even farther. Okay, one last thing, make sure to sign your name. This is your own work of art and it will be different every time. Sign and date. And thank you so much for watching. See you next week.